Gosh dang it, it didn't collect it because I didn't have enough box space. <laughs> Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we have a very, very, very special video for all of you. I have finally hit 1,000 total days on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. I can't tell you how excited I am. I've been looking forward for this for weeks. I've been doing a countdown on my Twitter for like so long now, counting down the days until I was able to get this thousand day Goku. And now my box is too full. <laughs> Nonetheless though, I can't tell you all how excited I am for this. I literally just said it again. So you know that means that I'm excited about it. I've been looking forward to it basically since they announced the man. I mean, it's so cool that they gave something for playing the game for this long. I definitely think that that was such a cool thing to just add to the game. Because, you know, for playing the game for so long, the rewards aren't so good except for this man right here. On... 999 days you get like nine stones and then on a thousand days you get 10 as you just saw so it's like 10 stones for playing the game for a thousand days really so i definitely think that it's so so cool that they added a exclusive unit for playing the game this long now i will say other units have definitely passed him up he is a little bit of a trophy unit but at the same time, he does have some things that are kind of unique to him that definitely cannot be achieved by any other unit. And frankly, just, you know, he's his own unit, right? All right, so we have, I believe, all of them locked up. Before we go ahead and rainbow him, because obviously we're going to do that in this video, and then I'm going to show you just kind of playing around with him. Are they all locked? Good. Okay, the first thing I need to do here... <laughs> it's my turn to finally troll everybody this is kind of uh you know sort of like the meme thing to do we got them all locked yes i just gotta double check okay so as is uh sort of tradition with uh this goku i have to give him <laughs> four elder kai's so that it looks like that I put all of the dupes into Goku for SA. And then I'm like, oh, they didn't give you enough to SA 20 him. What happened? <laughs> I had to do it for the culture, you know what I mean? Alright. So uh, the pictures that you're seeing in this video will uh, probably be going on Twitter in a little bit. But I had to do that for the meme. But anyway, let's go ahead and level my man up. We are... Oh, right. I forgot the most important part. We have to put him in the friend slot. Hopefully, before I do this, because, I mean, we're literally going to do it right now on camera. Um, we have to see... Did this not... Did Wait. Oh, no. That is the one. Okay. I was going to say, wait a minute. Did it not, like, level him up? I guess it didn't level him up. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, level him up then. Definitely want to get some work into this, man. This video is going to be kind of long, but that's okay because it's sort of a celebration video for me in celebration of 1,000 days of playing this game because that's a crazy number that I've been playing this for. Is that using all my candy canes? Yes, but you know what, my man? You are 110% worth it. You are worth so much to me. And honestly, this guy represents a lot. Because, you know, Dokkan is sort of, ironically, <laughs> even though I used to be like, Oh, mobile games? Ew. Dokkan has become one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, frankly, I love it. It's such a good thing for me. It's brought so many people into my life that are just wonderful people. And, you know, it always brings me a good time when I play. Even sometimes, you know, if it's a little bit frustrating, you know, it's still a good time to play. Alright, so just to get the full uh, troll effect here, <laughs> we have to uh, give him the 2,000 dupe. Uh, wow, that's really weird to look at. 
we have to give him the 2000 dupe system investment and then we'll go ahead and give him dupes but yeah no because i kind of just wanted to use this video not only to sort of just like play with this guy um in some dokkan events but just to kind of talk about like a little bit of my history playing dokkan and just like a little bit about you know dokkan and me i guess um because i started playing dokkan i don't know a while back i think it was actually <clears throat> maybe gene who convinced me to play or maybe that was the second time no that was definitely the second time because someone convinced me to play the first time and i was like oh this game's kind of dumb uh but then gene was playing it and i was like all right well maybe i'll give it another try then just because, you know, if he likes it, then it, you know, there must be something good about it, right? So, I did pick it up again, and that's sort of when I started to fall in love with it. Um, and Global was the one I played originally. Funny enough, my original Global account was, like, absolutely garbage. And I couldn't even beat a couple of events with it. But, I started up my JP account, which is the one I still have now. And I don't remember when that was exactly. I mean, if you guys want to do the math and see what was going on a thousand days ago, um, definitely go ahead and help me out in the comments there. But, you know, I started playing JP and I was really enjoying it. And that by that point, I had, like, memorized all of the... By the way, we're going to actually give them dupe system investment now. Um, by that point, right, I had, you know, already memorized all the menus for Dokkan. So it was like, well, it's not a big deal if I, you know just go ahead and play JP because I'll know what I'm doing in terms of all the menus and stuff like that. So I started playing it. Um, eventually, funny enough, it just kind of became the main game that I played rather than global just because, you know, I enjoyed the content coming out first and the account, frankly, just got better than the global account at a certain point. Um, funny enough, I don't even remember who it was, but I gave my old global account uh, I sort of, no, I don't regret that decision because the guy was in a really rough spot and he didn't really have a Dokkan account. Um, you know, but it is kind of uh, a little bit disappointing for me just because then that way I can't, you know, look back on my global account and be like, wow, this is where I came from. You know what I mean? So that is a little bit unfortunate, but the reason why I did give it away was for a good cause. I don't remember what happened to the guy's account exactly, but he lost his account in some whatever happened. So, you know, I was like, you know what, man, I have this extra account lying around. I'm not using it at all. Um, literally, that global got moved to another device because I just wasn't using it that much. I started another global account, um, which is the one that actually, shout out to my boy Dust. He is farming for me at the moment. And that one became leagues better than the original global account that I had. So if I was playing global, it was on that account. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give this man my account. So I did give it to him. Um, you know, I guess it sort of uh, gives an, a testament to how much I love JP in that regard. But, you know, for me, that account, like, as much as it had some sentimental value, since it didn't really have much, you know, on it for me, it wasn't as big of a deal, you know, giving it away. So, I don't know. That's where we are now. All right. So, real quick. Let's go ahead, before I start putting dupe system investment in this man, let's see what he does. <laughs> because I know what he does, but just in case, you know, it's not too often you get the opportunity to examine this man. I mean, I guess I will be considering I have him now, but nonetheless, right? Leader skill, all types, key plus three, HP attack and defense 100%. This was a pretty big deal when he first got introduced into the game because there wasn't a really good, like, overall leader yet. And he is still pretty decent, to be honest. But he has been outclassed by some other units in that department. But that's not just, you know, the only thing special about him. Obviously, 12 key, the Genki Dama, causes colossal damage to the enemy and raises allies' attack by 20% for one turn. That's really cool, because not only, you know, obviously the generic LR thing, but the fact that he raises allies, it's sort of like, it's weird, because it's like they should be giving Goku energy, but it's like Goku's kind of, you know, like, powering them up, and it sort of is kind of cool, considering the background of the card is all of Goku's friends, right? Causes Mega Colossal damage to the enemy is the Super Genki Dama, and as well, raises allies' attack and defense by 25% for one turn. So again, still same cool really thing i'm getting jumbled up because i'm so excited 
<laughs> but still really cool, you know, that he sort of raises allies attack. And it's kind of, again, it's sort of weird that like, they're supporting him, but at the same time, it's like he's supporting them. I don't know. Anyway, though, passive skill, attack plus 77%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7%, and recovers 777, wait, no, 7,777 HP, there we go, per key sphere obtained. I'm all over the place right now, just because I'm so giddy with excitement that I'm finally here. I've been waiting all the last week to film this video. Anyway, though. Pretty decent passive, to be honest. Attack plus 77 is good. Um, and then, obviously, plus key sphere obtained. You know, it's not any specific sphere. It's just how many you get. And, of course, he recovers HP as well, which is very nice. He's very helpful for a lot of events, um, you know, where you're really taking a lot of damage and you can kind of get that extra HP back. Um, definitely going to try this guy on SBR since I now have him. Also want to try him on the brand new Goku event, too. Anyway, though, Link skills, Z fighters, all in the family, experienced fighters, prepared for battle, supreme power, Saiyan lineage, and legendary power. As well, his categories are Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, and Goku's family. Very, very cool stuff. So that's the Goku for you. Um, let's go ahead. We're definitely going to give him all crit. Um, it is kind of interesting because he could do well with additional, I feel like, um, just because he has you know that like supporting super attack but at the same time he would have to he has to be in the first slot to use it hmm that's interesting and with this guy the only way that you could ever fix the dupe was if you put in the 10 stones because obviously they only give you the five to be able to you know give him his full dupe system investment so if you get him all crit there's no going back unless you're willing to part with those stones hmm let's just fill it out first and then we'll kind of assess the sitch all right bam 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 all right so that's filled out let's go over here now remember theo don't click the button don't click the button yet here this one where's that one dupe system investment thing yeah this one i think is really silly that it goes there then you have to do that one like they could have just made it connected to the one at the end and then you would have been done in one swift stroke i don't know kind of weird all right so this is giving him 20 crit and six additional and more additional could be good for him considering that though if he was going to get an additional super it would only be the 20% boost to allies, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. Hmm. I kind of think I want to do that though, because I assume that when I'm running him, he's going to be on main rotation. Obviously, if I'm, you know, in this video where I'm going to be like showcasing him, he's going to be on main rotation. I think that's what I'm going to do. If I really want to go back and change it, I can in the future. I'm certainly not going to give him dodge. I've given some units dodge in the past that's like, most people would be like, bruh. But this is a pretty special unit, so I definitely think that um, he deserves the best. Alright. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with, gang. I think that is what we're going to do. Because then that way, he has that little bit of uh, just extra additional chance to kind of get that extra little boost for his teammates let's go ahead and rainbow the boy oh man i can't tell you how much i've been looking forward to this that is awesome so so cool all right again i know this video is a little bit longer but again it's kind of just like a chill video and me just kind of talking about dokkan i mean isn't that what every video is but in a sort of more sentimental this uh sentimental way this time I was going to say sentimental this time, but I guess either works. All right, so let's go ahead. Hmm. We're not going to use him as the leader. So he's on what? Pure Saiyans, uh, Majin Buu Saga. We don't run Majin Buu Saga too often, so I guess let's go ahead and run that. Mm, but then we're not going to see him at his full attacking potential. So what would that be? Goku family? Yeah, we'll run him on Goku's family. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Uh, where are we at here? Goku family, Goku family... I believe that is this one. Nope, that is automatons or androids, whatever. This is Vegeta family. Wait, so then that means the Goku family is right here. They change it up every update. It's so frustrating. Like every single update, they're like, 
Yeah, we're gonna change the order of the categories. We know that, you know, I mean, obviously they're not really thinking about people on the, you know, English speaking side, because I just kind of memorize where they are. And then I'm like, all right, I, I know where the category is. And then they change it. And I'm like, well, all right. So that's the art, by the way. So, so cool. I absolutely love this. It's so simple, but it's so nice. I'm like, I don't know, just the fact that they picked that card too, as the thousand day card is just such a cool memento, I feel like. Just because it's like, you know, wow, this, you know, card that sort of represents a great moment where everybody, you know, came together in the whole world to help Goku, you know, beat this terrible villain. And at the same time, you know, it's like all these people playing this game with you and like, I don't know, it's just sort of like a momentous occasion that, you know, can't be matched, I feel like. Hmm. Who do I want to bring? You know what? Let's just kind of do a team of some of my favorite Goku units. This might not be the best showcase for him, um, you know, just because, you know, it's not going to be like his optimal setup, certainly. But just for the sake of it, I kind of want to just bring some of my favorite units just because, you know, I'm feeling a little bit sentimental right now. Funny enough, this was actually my first SSR. Um, he is awakened, um, but I have him reversed because I was uh, feeding some dupes in him. Nonetheless, though, that was my first SSR. I felt like that was just kind of something that uh, I wanted to mention, considering that, you know, this video was all about kind of like my history with Tokon. He, um, funny enough, even though he's really not that good of a unit, um, he is still kind of one of my favorite units in Dokkan, and I think that's just because it was sort of sentimental. I'm a big fan of Bardock. He's one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball, and the fact that, you know, he was like one of the first characters that I pulled was so cool to me. No one brings Zeno Goku. Why not? So, that's also kind of sentimental for me. And you know what? Let's bring LR Vardok, considering that, you know, again, favorite character. And I finally rainbow my boy. Ooh, this team is looking clean. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. Very cool stuff here. All right. Let's go ahead. Um, we're not going to take on the new Goku event, because that's way too easy. Um, hmm. Where do we want to go? You know what? The Broly event is one of my favorite events in the game. Let's go ahead and face it. Or not. <laughs> is it not live? No, we'll do... Uh, we'll do Trunks then, I think. Oh yeah, because today is Tech Day, right? Not all of the events are live at the moment. Yeah, let's go ahead and do... Um, that's so weird that Zamasu and Trunks are there on the same day. But the other one is because it's Tech. Um, is there a Fizz stage? For either of these? I don't remember. Zamasu probably has a Fizz stage, right? Because of uh, Fizz Zamasu. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the Zamasu event. Why not? Um, I don't think... Is there anyone actually I need to awaken from that? I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we can find a Super Vegito friend. I didn't really think about that part. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, let's see. Majin Buu Saga is oh boy i don't remember what it was i would remember if it was in the same spot but i don't remember let's go ahead and do a uh, patara because then we can find it that way patara is that one uh oh <laughs> maybe we need to run another leader besides uh oh boy isn't that just my luck this video where i'm like getting all sentimental and like you know wow i love dokkan so much they're like Nah, we're not gonna give you that lead that you're looking for, boy. Who do you think we are? That's pretty funny. All right, well, um, I guess then. You know what? Let's go ahead. Then we'll switch up the team a little bit. Um, and I guess we'll just run the Thousand Day Goku as the leader. Nah, but oh wait, I'm silly. Hold on. <laughs> we're doing Goku's lineage, not Majin Buu Saga, my boy. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, oh yeah, we're doing Majin Buu Saga. I probably still had it in my head earlier. That was the last team I won? Interesting. Um, that was probably still in my head from earlier that we were running Majin Buu Saga, and I wasn't thinking about the fact that we switched the team up. I'm so, like, excited and, like, sentimental and also all over the place right now just because, like, I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to this video. Like, I've honestly been looking forward to this video ever since I was like, oh my gosh, 
I'm that close to 1,000 days? Yeah, it, it's been a good pretty... It's been a pretty good week looking up to it. All right, so we definitely want to go down the key path. You know, this is more of a, a little bit of a casual run, right? Ah, man, I'm excited about this. Let me talk about uh, some of these guys besides the Thousand Day Goku. These guys are some of my favorite units in the game because some of them, you know, represent something, but at the same time, some of them are just really like, you know, Tech Bardock. I really like him just because he's such a good um, tech key supplier. He links pretty well with a lot of the units that need it. And I don't know, again, since he's a Bardock unit, I really like him. And because he has such like a, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a technical use such i don't know like he just has a lot of use in terms of like you know it, his passive and whatnot that i feel like you know in my book he definitely deserved the rainbow and i just love him so much he doesn't hit for nothing you know he is again they kind of keep it the bardock theme where he seals but just all the tech key he provides is so valuable and i've obviously uh or not obviously i've gotten so much use out of him that you know for me I love him. <laughs> LR Bardock, obviously, you know, I've said so many times in this video that I'm a big Bardock fan. So being able to rainbow that LR, and especially such an underrated LR, and people are like, oh, he's not that good. And then some people use him and they're like, actually, he's pretty good. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> so I don't know. It was really cool to be able to rainbow him. Um, obviously, Thousand Day Goku himself is just living legend. And I'm so proud that I'm able to own him. Goku as well in that last slot there. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the Ultra, um, but that's okay. We will definitely be getting it at some point. The Goku at the end there, I'm also very, very in love with because, I don't know, he's such a cool unit. I mean, I love Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's one of my favorite transformations. Um... Not only that, okay, 1.2 on there, nice. This is the uh, same super, I believe, that LR Tech Goku has. So that's kind of interesting, but just obviously with base. I don't, yeah, because he's base. Yeah, because then that one's Super Saiyan when he does that, yeah. Anyway, though, um, the Goku at the end, he's one of my favorite easy A's of all time. He's rainbowed. He hits so hard, dude. He hits like a madman. I love him so much. Again, and Super Saiyan 3, like, the lr version of him you know the super is so cool but his is so simple and so clean that just like i can't not love it and the fact that he hits for like wild wild damage as well is just also you know so fun for me since i love that you know moment and i love that transformation so much and you know again i love the easy a so much i use that card more than i use the lr funny enough and then Zeno Goku, um, y'all know, of course, I'm a big Dragon Ball Heroes guy, and, you know, I love Dragon Ball Heroes, so it was so cool when they introduced that second wave. The first wave was obviously super awesome, but the second wave, you know, Zeno Goku and Zeno Vegeta, especially Super Saiyan 3, one of my favorite forms, how could I not love it? Especially, I love that Zeno Goku outfit, man. Okay, so this is a Fizz stage, um, hmm. Let's see. So we can't get him the ultra here. Hmm. Can we get that? If we drop the tech key, I don't think it'll be enough. Um. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's see how it drops. Maybe it will be enough. No, I don't think it'll be enough. If we had uh, one more key sphere, it would be enough. But no, I don't think that's enough. Dang it. So close. That's okay, though. We definitely want to get it one time by the end. Either way, though, yeah, that Xeno Goku I really love. You know, obviously all the original ones are really cool, but the second wave, I was like, Whoo! those are my boys. Of course, who could forget Boobity? One of the greatest characters in all of Tokan. <laughs> anyway, though, yeah, I don't know. I just really love this game. You know, it's, it's so funny to me that a game like this, like, I don't know, a thousand days ago, certainly, I would have never imagined that a game like this would have such an impact. Oh, wow, okay, he hit for one point. All right, I mean, he had type advantage, but still pretty good. Um, Bardock's probably going to hit for a little bit more there. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> Again, I really love this man, but he doesn't hit for nothing, but that's okay. I still love him anyway. 
But yeah, no, I, if you would have told me a thousand days ago that it would have been this deep in a game like this and I would love it so much, I would have laughed because I would have never thought that. Um, and now, here we are. A thousand days later, in love with this silly game. You know, and I think that's also, you know, partially in a test to just how much, you know, I love Dragon Ball and the series, like, you know, kind of had an impact on me and, like, you know, just how much I love it, really. The fact that I spend so much time, effort, and Dragon Stones, of course, you know, on this game, I think just kind of shows that. But ain't that the reason why we all play Dokkan? Just because we love Dragon Ball so much, right? Yeah. I, I really like this game. I, I don't know. It's just kind of so interesting to me that I've gotten to this point. Like, never in my life would I have thought that we would have got here with a game like this. I don't know. Just kind of an interesting thing to think about, I suppose. Alright, so we are on the final Zami stage. Um, I've just kind of been cruising. I haven't really been, you know, like, trying to optimize our rotations and setup and whatnot here. We're just kind of chilling. Alright, so this looks like our ticket time, baby. Alright. Ooh, you know what would be cool? Wait, will that be enough key? Oh, we can't. No, I was going to say it would be cool if I super with Goku and then uh, got the active skill off, but I don't think it'll work like that. Um, hmm. You know what then? Let's go ahead. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the active skill. And then we're going to go ahead and super with Goku, and then we'll super with Thousand Day Goku. I'm hoping my man crits, because that would be really cool. This Goku art still is a little bit weird to me. I don't know, it's something about the face, so I'm just like, mm, that's a little bit weird. Active skills are still busted, as always, but nonetheless. Alright, so Goku's going to grab that. Oh, is that going to... Oh, no, okay, good, 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 good. That actually dropped perfectly. Yeah, boy! Let's go, baby! I will definitely um come back. Oh, wait, I actually didn't think about the fact that... He's going to get hit. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, ironically enough, we might lose in this video. But that's okay, because ain't that such an epic Mewtwo move. Anyway, though. What was I just going to say? Oh, yeah. Here, let's see this. Ooh, baby. I love it. It's so clean. It's so simple. So nice. The end of it is literally the rest of it. But, like, just the extra. Oh, well. You could have gave me a crit, my boy. It's okay. This super's so nice, too. That's, like, so terrifying, but so, like, in a good way. I don't know. As weird as that is to say. All right, Xeno Goku. This super attack is pretty clean, too. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. I like it a lot. Obviously, you didn't crit. My man tanking, like, nobody's business out here, dude. All right, let's see. Um, We probably won't be able to stall for one more turn to be able to get Goku to kind of do his thing um i don't think bardock will take him out yeah let's go ahead and do this we're gonna stall for one turn we'll use a sensu beam just to kind of see if we can get goku to get a crit um let's see if we can't set up here um is that gonna be that's one two three four five okay so that should be okay then yeah perfect um and then we want that to drop bardock was gonna get a super either way yeah okay that looks good uh-oh! <laughs> Goku didn't counter it? Really? I don't think he would counter it this far into it. Yeah, no, definitely not. It's so weird with uh, some of these longer supers. It's so hard to tell when the unit's going to counter. Because you're like, oh, he's going to counter now. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. He's going to counter now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's going to counter now. I don't know. It's always, it's always a little bit odd in uh, the way that, like... Or at the point, rather, that they counter when it's like a longer super like that all right oh we're already at bardock perfect okay so we can give goku uh the super all right nice let's go ahead and link him up with uh i believe bardock will probably win pretty well yeah it could probably be bardock or goku but he gives a little bit of extra key let's go ahead and do this we'll give goku that we'll give bardock that wonderful what a what a poetic way to end this off the fact that everybody's getting that hot ultra super wonderful again oh my gosh samasu relags <laughs> my man is wilding out here holy cow oh my gosh bro chill chill lax my guy all right 2.3 really wow like i said i will definitely do another video um kind of doing a oh my boy why didn't you crit we'll definitely do a video um kind of 
optimizing this guy a little bit more. I definitely want to do a lot more videos on him now that I have him. Hey, my boy Bardock finishing it off. But again, I sort of wanted this video to just be a little bit of something sentimental and just kind of, you know, talking about a little bit of my history on Dokkan, just kind of like, you know, how I feel about the game and, you know, just kind of talking about Super... I was going to say Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but I meant Thousand Day Goku. <laughs> but, you know, just kind of talking about him and, you know, how happy I am to have him and just sort of, you know, kind of showing him off a little bit, but at the same time, just sort of having a nice relaxing video to be honest with you yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i know it was a little bit different than usual um considering that we're just sort of chilling throughout the whole thing but i certainly enjoyed it um this was just kind of like a uh, video to sort of honor my thousand days of playing this game and frankly <laughs> i wouldn't have had it any other way thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it let me know what you think of thousand day goku like I said, I will definitely be back to do another video on this guy where I sort of optimize him a little bit more. Um, you know, again, since we were sort of straight chilling throughout this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know about your history with Dokkan in the comments section below because I love hearing about it. I will catch you guys in the next one. Epic Mewtwo out. Peace.